We've already been talking about for, you know, the last uh, at least 18 hours, this rotation. That's another round of it. We've seen bursts of, of this kind uh, from time to time when it seems as if everyone wants to get behind the idea of an economic reacceleration, yields higher, banks and industrials working, people lightening up on the big steady growth stocks. Uh, would you expect this to be a theme that continues to run through this year? Well, certainly for the first half of the year, we definitely think these are going to be the, the themes in play. We are expecting a more uh, active Fed as they continue to remove accommodation and um, higher rates along with that. And we think there will be this continued rotation out of the tech sector, especially the non-profitable tech sector, into some of the other sectors, as you mentioned, that perform a bit better in um, in higher yield environments like uh, like bank stocks and infrastructure, uh, these type of things that can withstand a bit more inflation as well. And on the inflation side, do you think we're in a mode where it's uh, it's it's calming down uh, on its own, uh, kind of reverting back something toward trend yesterday? There was the ISM report had the prices paid index took a big drop. That's a, a little bit of a glimmer of hope, perhaps. Yeah, I think people are really searching hard for glimmers of hope right now. But I'm not I mean, I, I would just point to there was uh, Liberty Street. Uh, the Fed put out um, an indicator of uh, supply disruptions yesterday. I would uh, encourage you to take a look at that. And they the headline says something like it might be moderating, but the picture doesn't at all look like mm. it's moderating. So I, I, I think we're too early to, to tell on yeah. that side. Can't declare victory for sure. Greg, um, all this happening uh, at the same time when we're facing, OK, the earnings growth is supposed to step down from the rapid pace of of last year. Obviously, fiscal support is going to be uh, pulling back to some degree. And yes, the Fed is on inflation watch. And where does that leave you in terms of, you know, wanting to reset for 2022? Well, I agree with Mimi that I think that there's nothing that's going to dislodge the current sentiment about that rotation out of uh, tech and into things that uh, essentially perform uh, as the economy performs in a strong way. Uh, but I think that as we start to get into earnings season after the banks, which are going to uh, kind of solidify that notion, as does the steepening yield curve. But once we start into getting into earnings season, I think a couple of concerns that I'm starting to look at will emerge. The first is top line concerns. As we transition from a, a sustained demand that was driven by physical policy to one that must be sustained in 2022 by wage earnings, that's a concern for me. Uh, sure, uh, wage inflation has provided some comfort on that level, but at the end of the day, uh, will we have the job participation rate and will we have the savings? We've already started to see that tick down to sustain the current trajectory of growth. Some sectors will be impacted more than others, and I'm starting to dig out where I think that there may be some softness there. And then on the bottom line, there'll be concerns as well. Uh, so, you know, while inflation will continue, I think, pretty hot for the first couple of months, that'll start to abate, particularly as we start to encounter those compares in April, where we started with a 4.2% CPI last year. So that will certainly abate as we get into the year, but margins will still be a concern, particularly if we have a, um, a receding top line in certain sectors and companies. So what I'm looking for this year are things that can demonstrate and have demonstrated sustainable demand through any macro environment, stimulus, no stimulus, whether we're at home or not at home, things that have margin protection and that are fairly insulated from those most poignant areas of inflationary pressures uh, and those that have the pricing power. Uh, so I think you can find some of that in both value land and growth land. Mm -hmm. Mimi, you mentioned uh, sort of infrastructure plays, other things that maybe are going to capture some of this inflation. Is that the type of thing you're looking for in terms of income and yield? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, within the bond complex, you need to stick to inflation, inflation linked bonds. I mean, five year, five year, I think yesterday was two and a quarter percent. We would expect those longer term inflation expectations to drift to higher to the high twos, maybe uh, closer to three percent. So um, and then within the equity complex and other assets, real assets, uh, infrastructure, banks perform well in higher rates. Those are those are central themes for us.